Welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Well, Christmas is coming to a close, um, but I want to show you that the goodies that you might have in your cupboard that you bought at Christmas are not just for Christmas. I have been saying this all season because there's so much that's good in here. So I just want to go ahead and show you the sort of thing that I'm talking about. So today I'm going to use um, the um, You've Got This stamp set as well as the um, Christmas Pines and the Christmas Pines dies that go with them. So I'm going to start off with a background stamp from the You've Got This and I'm going to ink up with Blushing Bride ink. And I'm going to stamp that down fairly near the top of my card layer which is four and three quarters by um, five and a half inches and then I'm going to stamp this um, is out of the Christmas pines it's like a little area to put our greeting in pop that down there at the bottom um, the greeting we're going to use again is out of here and I'm going to use um, I'm here for you and pop that in there Then in order to um, add something a little kind of tropical in here, let's just put bigger, get my bigger ink pad, I'm going to do a little, a little bit of stamping around the edge. Just put some fronds in. Now just because these at Christmas time are Christmas pine fronds doesn't mean they have to be Christmas pine fronds all year. So a little bit whoa, a little bit in yellow just juggling my ink pad. Do you ever do that? And then this is the other this is the, it's actually like a two-step stamping these pines although I have mostly I have to say just used that one on its own. Um, but this is the, the one with a little bit more, a little bit of the texture on there. And I'm not really trying to line that up, as you can see. Um, again, I just want to get some more colour and just the feel of some tropical greenery coming down there. So there you go. And even the grid paper looks pretty. OK, so what are we going to put in on this little tropical card that I have um, created? Right, well, I will show you. We're going to bring in the big shot. And I'm going to put some of the green pine fronds on there. That is on a piece of um, old olive. And then I'm going to put this one here and this is our pine cones let's get my little brush there is a um, a mat that goes with this but I actually find sometimes you can just do it on your hand with <laughs> with something like this and it gets all those little it brushes all those little bits out it's super duper little brush there we go there's the pine fronds and we'll just take those out with a little pricking tool there right okay so let's bring all these pieces together here's my card and can you guess what it is we're going to make here? Just bring in this 
silicon mat and instead of a pine cone I'm going to make a pineapple. Would you have thought of doing that? Well I'll tell you the truth I saw this on Pinterest I saw an idea of somebody having done this on Pinterest and I thought what a great idea what a great way um, to use this after Christmas. Oops, let's have that a little bit straighter. Doesn't that look like a fantastic pineapple? So I've decided to design a card that needs a pineapple. I feel this one does. And then we've got a little bit of tropicalness all around. Now, which colour are we going to pick out? I think that gives it a little bit of a little bit of zing. Let's pop that on there. So pine cones into pineapples. And pineapples are very trendy. We're right on trend if you're doing pineapples. There you go. What do you think? You think that's a good idea? I think that's a good way to be continuing to use your, your beautiful cone dies after Christmas. So thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the festive season and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.